Hey guys, so this week we are talking about fictional couples that we love and I am like Harmony. I prefer to read books that have some sort of romance in them and I actually sometimes pass on books if they don't have romance. I just find that romance makes books so much easier to read and um, I'm okay with a simple romance with maybe just a kiss or two every now and then but I do love some seamy romances and I actually have a couple on my list so I'll go ahead and get started. First up, Clara and Tucker from Unearthly. They kind of have a mix of a simple sweet romance and a steamy romance because as it gets to the end of the book there are some steamy scenes. Um, but it starts off with Tucker teasing Clara a lot. It's like that middle school antic where he's gonna pull your hair and he's gonna tickle you and he's gonna just like tease you and call you names and things like that and he is kind of mean in the beginning and I say mean and not like an abusive mean but just in a teasing mean um he nicknames her carrots on their first encounter because she has accidentally dyed her hair orange and from then on they cannot stand each other or that's how it seems but things quickly change for them and their romance is just one of my favorites because it's so sweet and Tucker is the perfect gentleman and so romantic and I love him. I want one. <laughs> so anybody who's team Christian, just don't talk to me. <laughs> just kidding. I still like you guys. Um, Lola and Cricket from Lola and the Boy Next Door. Of course I have to mention this book. Um, Cricket doesn't seem like a sexy name like at all. I mean, it's a blog. But Cricket is like the perfect guy and I love him. And Lola is amazing too and together they just have such great chemistry and um, it just it's kind of it's one of those books that where they start off as friends and it just kind of leads into this and you can see where it's going but it doesn't quite get there until the end but it's just perfect. And then Anna and St. Clair from Anna and the French Kiss, um, both of these by Stephanie Perkins, if I didn't mention that, um, they have the same thing where they're going, where they are friends for quite some time before anything happens. And I loved how their relationship grew from friendship to more, because that's kind of how it is in real life. So I think that's perfect. And Jack and Skylar from Blue Bloods, they are amazing together. And... I recently read the newest book in this series and it's just, it's kind of just made me fall even more in love with those two together because Jack and Skylar are willing to do anything for each other and they're so like selfless because they just put the other's needs first and even when it is going to tear them apart, they're willing to do something to help everybody else, which is just awesome. And I'm actually gonna mention Mimi and Kingsley from the same series. Mimi is a giant bitch in the beginning <laughs> and I never thought I could like her but when she's with Kingsley she's a completely different person and those are amazing romances when you just see this other side to somebody when they're in this romance. And then Varen and Isabel from Nevermore. This is a case of opposites attracting. Varen is this kind of dark guy who is kind of depressed at times and is like black hair, lip ring, more eyeliner, <laughs> things like that. And Isabel is like the head cheerleader and pretty and popular and blonde and loves pink and things like this. And you can never see them together. And then when they are together, they're just so perfect. I, I love that book. And I really think the romance is one of the big reasons why I love that book. There are other reasons, but the romance is just awesome. Um, Adam and Juliet from Shatter Me. That is an, one of the steamy couples. There is a shower scene in this book, and oh my gosh, it's like drool worthy. <laughs> it's such an amazing scene. Um, Adam and Juliet are so awesome because they do have those steamy scenes, and then there are some really sweet moments between them, and they are just great together, and I really like Adam. <laughs> and Akiva and Karu from Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Now I know a lot of people have been complaining that Akiva is kind of abusive and I know there are times where he like tries to kill Karu but still set that aside. <laughs> He's not trying to kill her because he doesn't like her or something like that. He just doesn't realize who she is and their relationship quickly changes and they fall in love and Things are revealed about their past together and apart, and they are just, oh, they're so perfect. And the ending of the book is torture, and I need the next one now so I know what happens with them. You will too if you read the book. 
Alex and Brittany from Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkless. And I actually have all um, three of her Fuentes Brothers books on here. Um, Carlos and Kira from Rules of Attraction. And Louise and Nikki from the newest one, Chain Reaction. Those are some of my favorite books. And they're pretty much, like, they're kind of strictly romance. There's not... Well, okay, that's wrong. Because there's like this gang conflict going on in all of the books, but it seems like the romance is more of the focus and this gang stuff just plays into the romance. But those books are some of the steamiest young adult books I've ever read. And I love them. I adore those books. I, I'm so excited to read anything else by Simone Algles. I have to get my hands on all the rest of her books that are published and I hear that she's publishing a new um, young adult series about football stars. And I'm just so, so, so stoked for those because these three books are some of my favorite ever books. And um, if you've read any of them, you understand because the romances are so sweet and there's some, actually they're kind of all the whole opposites attract thing. And I think that's really cool because that's how things are. Opposites do attract. And believe me, she picked like really opposite people in these books, like a head cheerleader and um, member of a gang. And um, oh, I can't think of, there's, oh, the second one is a complete brainiac with this slacker kid who, um, he's not really a member of a gang, but he is affiliated with a gang. And then um, the third one, uh, Louise and Nikki, they come from completely different backgrounds. Louise is very poor and Nikki is very rich. And it's just fun to see how they interact and how things work out between them. And um, I think that's everything. I really, I really love romances, and I have a lot more fictional couples that I could talk about, but I'm not going to, just because I know a couple of them that other girls already mentioned, so I'm not going to repeat them, but those are my favorites, and I hope you agree with me on some of them, and if you haven't read the others, I hope that this will encourage you to pick them up. Sorry for the super long video, like always. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week.